जानकारों की राय के मुताबिक उन्नीस की म्यूजिकल सुपरहिट फिल्म अनारकली ही थी दिस वीक वी गॉट न्यूज फ्रॉम इंडिया दैट वी लॉस्ट वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट एंकर एंड स्टार ऑफ इंडियन म्यूजिक वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट ए सिंगर अ म्यूजिक डिरेक्टर और अ राइटर not for that matter an actor but we are talking about a radio announcer who for the last 7 decades yes friends for almost 70 years he was the glue that brought the indian music industry the indian films together in a weekly show giving us well over 50000 episodes a show called bina kagit mala friends i'm talking about the respected i call him sir i mean sayani i mean sayani and binaka gitmala were two sides of the same coin for almost not one or two almost three generations he brought us all together on wednesday night to listen to some of the best music that india had given us first it was the top song of the week then the top song of the month and eventually the highly awaited the top song of the year starting in 1953 uh, for almost uh, three decades i believe he had a knack and a charisma there are many people who have a lo- lot of knowledge to share but he had a knack of wrapping it up in a short time right after the signature bugle and tell us an interesting story that would lead into the song amin sayani to me was the kc kesum of hollywood the dj and t- radio announcer whose famous countdown of the lap of the top 40 songs uh kept americans glued to the radio well it just so happens kc kesum his middle name was also amin what a coincidence and uh kesi kesum was six months younger actually amin sayani was born uh, december uh, 21st 1932 so he was 91 when he left us last week and uh, he had a long life and one of the most rewarding lives because he loved what he did deeply passionate there was not a single soul who could ever say that he didn't touch his heart or soul from singers songwriters lyricists actors he became part of their lives and they became part of his life and he became part of our lives as we listen to the weekly program i still remember growing up uh, we didn't have a radio in the house and only one neighbor out of maybe a dozen had a radio and 7 o'clock we would wrap up our dinner homework and go and sit listen to the countdown and uh, what a unique style and one of the things which is signature for him that most often we say bhai or behno he always started his episode by saying behno or bhai talk about respect for women he taught us that almost 3 decades of now uh, seven decades ago three generations ago his uh, capturing voice just like ac kesum Uh, was a glue that brought us together and as he talked about the next song or behno aur bhaiyo agli paidan pe uh certain signature word paidan pe choti pe pahuncha hua ye geet uh was uh, unimaginable and as i remember uh, the times when we all expect a certain song to win a particular year's top spot or we expect undoubtedly that certain song would but there were surprises many surprises who would forget the 1966 baharo phool barsao mera mehboob aaya hai but then um, the biggest surprise for me in particular as a singer and a avid fan fan of mukesh uh, it the surprise came i believe in 67 jis dil mein basa tha pyar tera jis dil mein basa tha pyar tera he just had a way of bringing people together one of the things about uh, i mean 
Sayani. Uh, he he was he was a born a Gujarati Muslim and had married a Hindu pandit uh, daughter. But together he raised not only just his own family, he raised millions of families around the world. And uh, one of the uh, episodes I'll never uh, forget is in an interview he said. Sangeet, I'll say this in Hindi, Sangeet ne Hindustan ko judaya hai. Sangeet ne Hindustan se tukde banne se bachaya hai. You know, meaning that he always said credits that music brought all the Indians together. And it, without it, India would have fallen in, apart into pieces. Well, what he probably not did not realize he was a backbone in making that happen, in one of the backbones at least. And uh, in his uh, parting days he said, Indian music will become not only the glue for India, but for Asia and eventually for the whole world. And he was an eternally optimistic man. He said, India with all its problems, you know, you hear about corruption, you hear about rape, you hear about theft, you hear about destruction. He always believed as an eternal optimist, music may actually bring it, not necessarily an end, but it brings down these uneventful uh, uh, facts of life that happens around the world and in the country. So I would say that uh, today, as we bid farewell to Amin Sayani, the only thing I do remember, you can look at any of his pictures. He always had a smile on his face. He was happy. And he almost had like a, I, I was surprised that he actually didn't act in movies. He reminds me of the personality that Dick Van Dyke, who could forget that Hollywood actor, you know, acting with Julie Andrews and many other famous actors um, in uh, movies. I'm so excited about talking about uh, Mr. Sayani, Amin Sayani. So as we bid farewell to, to Amin Sayani, I just feel that it may be generations from now there could be another Amin Sayani to be born. So let his soul rest in peace and we pray and uh, bring all the comfort to his family and many fans around the world. Thank you and again a passionate singer, a doctor who understands, I think he had a heart attack from what I remember. Um, and this happens to be, February happens to be the heart, uh, heart month. People need to pay attention to their hearts. And, uh, but be as it may for this interview, I would say for this video, I would say, God bless his soul and wish him all the best uh, to his family and his fans.